So if you notice all of these asset classes and our you know, pig types, passive income generators, are just that. They enable me to pay the minimum amount of taxes via that oil and gas or businesses or real estate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's basically what I did. I was able to achieve financial freedom within 12 to you know, um, 18 months or so. It was very, very easy and it should be for anyone because you've had a decade of free money. So this is what the graph looks like. So year one, I was earning a lot of earned income, earned income, i.e. active income. My taxes were very high. I used the tax code to my advantage in order to reduce my taxes utilizing the passive income generators. And I increased my passive income and my hours worked were decreased over time because I was, you know, I was building at the same time I was earning active income at Direct TV, which was happened to be another asset I was building because I was a shareholder of DirecTV in which I was compensated via, you know, a salary, a bonus, and stock. So I was a shareholder, right? Um, there's nothing wrong with buying and building assets. Of it, like, I don't really care what asset class it is, okay? So within two to three years, I was out of the rat race because I was recycling the same dollar. I was printing money legally. I don't know how to do anything else. This is all I know how to do. So I no longer needed a J-O-B, right? It became optional because my passive income had exceeded my expenses. So even though I had active income, ordinary income, I didn't need it. Anyway, so that's how it works. Um, so today, 2019, where does my money come from? Well, I own a bunch of real estate in California, right? I have no money in any property, in any assets. Um, unfortunately, and stuff for my partners that don't know how to do this, um, which I sometimes will pick the wrong horse. And um, I hope you don't ever make that kind of mistake because um, it slows you up. Anyway, so I have California assets. I have dividend income, um, obviously, and um, I oil and gas ventures. I do the same thing over and over and over again. I have non-California assets. So my income comes from all of these sources. I have zero active earned income. I don't work. I haven't had a job in, oh, since DirecTV was sold to AT&T in 2015. So um, that was about five, four or five years ago, but I was already, I had achieved financial freedom while I was still at DirecTV um, with my buildings, right? But there was no reason to leave because I liked what I did. <laughs> I mean, and then we sold the company to AT&T. So um, I, you know, got too expensive to work for money um, to get earned income in the state of California, especially with tax reform um, and the $10,000 minimum um, or maximum SALT deduction. Um, you know, I can't, I, it's, to work here in, the in any high income tax state, it's just um, kind of dumb. I'm, you know, slavery was ended with, at least for me, it was. For others, maybe not. 